the Young Turks Mentors. The next speaker for the evening is someone whose life mantra is this, and I picked it up from one of the interviews that he had done. He says, "Anything I can't control, I will not complain about, but the things that I can control, I will change." So when he lost his parents, he was 16 years old, and he perhaps realized that that was not something in his control. He also realized that his own destiny is, and he decided to change that from what it could have become. Uh, from odd jobs, small entrepreneurial stints, uh, when we finally featured Alkesh on Young Turks back in 2012, he was very successfully running uh, Refill, which is today India's largest printer cartridge refill network. Uh, please put your hands together for Alkesh, and it of course gives us tremendous pride to have a Young Turk as a mentor now. What I think, entrepreneurship is a treacherous journey, and it requires ultimate passion. perseverance and guts to carry on with it and you can only survive it if you have fallen in love with this adventure and that's why that's what actually happened with me when i was around 16 i'll move with a few pointers that i learned during my journey that can help you make company out of a big idea and not a company of ideas so you might have lot of ideas in your mind go out as avishek said go out share with your friends relative industry experts get them validated before you jump into it you need to create a business model what is this business model again this is not a business plan business plan are usually made for investors to show them a rosy picture by business model what i mean is a model that allow you to design how you will carry on the activities what will be your value propositions how will you reach out to the market how will you generate profitable sales how will sustain your business and it's very important for the for for a company for a startup to have a business model on the paper get your feet on the street simple once you know you have a team once you know what you're doing once you have a business model ready what are you waiting for get out of the building products don't sell themselves entrepreneurs do you have to get out of the building get your value propositions right so customers buy benefits and solutions they don't buy your products and features keep that in mind they don't buy products and features don't try to sell them products and features always ask them what is a tangible value gain they will derive out of it that's very very important try to get lucky very often we all need luck boss whatever we do we need luck so we have to uh, try we will we'll, we'll need to try to get lucky very often and now there's a trick how to get lucky what i think about luck is very simple luck is when opportunity meets preparation right so if you are ready if you are prepared and you are into a right industry opportunities will knock you get yourself prepared for more opportunities more opportunities you have you will get more lucky and you need to get lucky to grow look out for investors only when you are ready okay so what do you mean by when you are ready it means that when you get your product fit product market fit right when you see the traction and you see the money is only the factor that is constrained that is constrained to your growth and you are really committed about it then go for the investors second be very honest with the investors they are your partners and they will be with you at any moment that's what is my experience because we have gone down a lot of lot of ups and downs and we were like significantly down at uh, at one point in time it was i said we were about to get bankrupt but yes along with the investors we could pull it out I like to conclude with a uh, Hindi statement dekhna jo chahte ho tum meri udaan ko dekhna jo chahte ho tum meri udaan ko to pehle aur uncha karo apne aasman ko thank you Next up I'm actually going to call uh, Prayudman Dalmia and Raghav Kanoria on stage so in their individual rights they built very successful businesses but that's not what they want to talk about what they want to talk about is the calcutta angel network that they started out right so in 2013 you guys started out uh, the calcutta angel network you are now 45 members strong if the numbers are right you've made about eight odd investments in these two years why did you find a need to start off calcutta angels so so i come from a family business background you know a, so i worked in the business for about 6 years then i went and did my mba from run business school and when i came back in 2012 that is the time raghav and i uh, got talking and along with a few others uh, so there are five co-founders in all we uh, decided to start calcutta angels at that time we had all heard about uh, mumbai angels Uh, being very very successful 
So we decided to create a platform uh, similar to Mumbai Angels in Calcutta. All uh, apart from one of our investments uh, is based outside Kolkata. Only one uh, of our investee companies is from Kolkata. But I can assure everybody we are working really hard and we now really want to change that. Raghav, what's the investment philosophy? What kind of startups are you looking at? Is it tech only? Because that seems to be everyone's focus right now. So we look at tech or tech-enabled businesses mostly because those are the ones, uh, as the entrepreneurs have been speaking, are the most scalable ones. Uh, having said that, we are also investing in some brick-and-mortar businesses because our set of investors are across uh, domains. So we have people from financial services, from real estate, from manufacturing. So different people have different uh, domain uh, specialities. So we are looking at all sorts of startups. I mean, most of us believe that you know we all need to collaborate. By working in silos, each of us is not going to achieve much. And I believe, you know, by working together, even let's say in five years' time, we are able to create somewhat of an ecosystem similar to that in Bangalore or Bombay or, you know, the NCR region. I think we'd have done our job. All right. So thank you very much for being here with us today and uh, for agreeing to mentor some of our startups as well. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank all of our mentors for being here this evening. It really means a lot. I want to thank the startups for coming out in such big numbers, uh, writing to us, uh, making sure they followed up and uh, made it here to the event. And I also want to thank ITC Sonar for making this venue available to us so graciously. Thank you very much. The Young Turks Mentors.